Hello and welcome to this week at Latix. As ever, we're going to be taking you behind the scenes and keeping you up to date with everything that's been going on at the club in the past seven days. This week, some of the first teamers took part in a training game with Fleetwood Town's development side. One of those players was Dan Gardner, who could make his debut for the club this weekend against Wigan Athletic. We caught up with the midfielder ahead of that game. Yeah, looking forward to it. If I'm selected, that is obviously, but yeah, I can't wait to get out there and help the lads. Wigan, probably the favourites for the league and, and stuff like that, but if we play as, as we know we can, we'll, we'll be fine. Please note that travel disruption is expected before and after tomorrow's match, with road work still ongoing at the junction between Rochdale Road and Sheepfoot Lane. Supporters are advised to plan their journey carefully and arrive in good time to avoid congestion. I follow Latix also caught up with the manager John Sheridan when he held his usual pre-match press conference this week. He said he's expecting a tough game tomorrow. I like Paul Cook, he's an excellent manager. He's done a brilliant job. And I'm sure they'll be one of the teams up there in the round getting promotion at the end of the season. So um, it'll be a good test for us. Good test for us. I'd rather be playing the likes of Wigan and the so-called inferior teams. But Wigan will come here thinking we're on a bad run. Results aren't going our way and they'll be coming here boosted by the, you know, by the start they've had. So, but I'm looking forward, again, I look forward to the game. We're at home and I expect us to go and win the game and try and win the game. That's it for this week at Latix. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to I Follow Latix for more exclusive interviews. And if you come into the game tomorrow, then don't forget to pick up a copy of Blue and White Army Match Day programme featuring Aaron Holloway on the front, as well as an in-depth interview with Dan Gardner and many, many more.